According to Uganda Bureau of Statistics, Masindi district population is over 352,000 people, out of whom over 153,000 are female. Hundreds of women across the district are seeking political offices at different levels. However, many of these women cannot reach out to the voters through public rallies because they were banned. The next best option is campaigning through radio, which is the most popular media in the district. But it has its own challenges. They've doubled their rates. Remember, we've been in lockdown, there is no money, but the radios have doubled their rates because they believe we don't have any other alternative apart from music, which is purely expensive, especially for us women and for us who have not been in office. <laughs> PWDs, Karantaina Mani, Avalema Twin, a cent and ying, vintage to Paris, sent a Yama radio, a TV. An hour long radio talk show in Masindi costs between 600,000 to 700,000 shillings, an amount that is prohibitive, as Anit Najemba, a programs manager at Radio Chitara, can attest. So, what we are doing, we are doing price discrimination, basing on the level of our politicians basing on their class and we then have a favor for our women because we know many of our women like I told you still are not so confident to come. The women fear the rates. I think they thought it was cheap. Others don't have budgets for it. We haven't changed the rate card but when you tell them about the figures they just say they will come back, but they never return. But even those with the money, campaigning on radio may not be effective, especially if they are first-time candidates with no name or face recognition. For example, me, I've been appearing on radio like every Saturday for the last two or three years. So my voice is known everywhere, but the way I've explained, people are still saying, we want to see you, we hear you on radio, but we want to see you. So you'll find at the end of it all, still the issue of using the radios to campaign, it may not be very effective. And remember, many of the people are campaigning against incumbents who have been in the field, who are known. The biggest percentage of our voters are not on Facebook and other social media platforms. Social media works in towns. Our people are villagers and farmers. And there is another concern. Airtime on radio is mostly available at night, which is not conducive time for most women to be away from their homes. It is risky. Even if you aren't married, it's risky to move at night to access these radios. It is fast. Some of our husbands stopped us from joining politics, thinking we use it to commit adultery. Night movements makes it even more difficult. The challenges faced by the women in Masinde district are a reflection of those faced by their counterparts elsewhere in the country and it's likely to exacerbate the existing inequalities in access and representation that already exist for most women.